Hi loves, welcome back to our channel. This is Jerry and for today's video, I'm going to be sharing these Kawaii Animal Crossing themed Nintendo Switch accessories with you guys. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so first thing I want to mention is that all of the items here I purchased on Amazon. So that means that you guys will be able to get these and they're pretty affordable and they're all still available. So I'll be adding those links in the description box below if you guys want to check them out and get any of these items for yourself. So I think what I'm going to do is like go over each item, what it is and read the details on the box. And then I'll open up each one and try them on like these I'll put on. Then I'll try the cases in here, these, and then I'll connect this and see how that works. So first, let me show you what they are. So this one here, I've shown these on our channel before, but if you haven't seen them in one of those makeovers, basically these here are um, switch button covers. So you're gonna use these to cover the buttons on your switch because they're usually black and they're not that cute. And then these two here are thumb grips, of course, and they're little um, paws. So, I think, it, yeah, it shows you here in the back, there's going to be like a, these are easy to put on, like it shows you how I've showed you guys before, you kind of invert the um, thumb grip, put it on top, and then pull it back, but I'll show you guys again. And then here, it's showing you how to do these, they have these little clear tabs, and you put them on the um, buttons, and then you just stick the covers over, and they stick on pretty well, and I use these, and I like them. So I'm gonna, this is my first, I only have pink ones, but this is my first time showing you blue and green, so I'm really excited about that. The next item that I wanna show you is this controller here. And yeah, I really like controllers. I like to try as many as I can to see, you know, like which ones are my favorites and stuff. Right now I'm using the Pro Controller a lot, but I've shown other controllers on this um, channel, and I got this one, and I recently got another pink one, so I'm gonna be showing you guys some more controllers. This one though, I just fell in love with the Animal Crossing thing. Like look how cute it has little villagers in different colors. The thumbsticks are colored. Every All the buttons are pretty colors. Like you can see here, even the back is like these really pretty colors. So these are um, by Power A. These three items are all by Power A. And yeah, I'll be linking them. It says enhanced wired controller. So that's probably the only like downfall or difference is most of the controllers that I have are all wireless. So this will be my first time trying a wired controller, but it's cute. And when you're playing on your desk like this really close to your screen, it's really not much of a um, bother at all. So wired, it has mappable buttons, which means you can um, kind of give presets to the buttons. And then it has a headset input so that you can use your headset with it. Here in the back, it tells you more. The foot is 10, the foot. <laughs> The cable is 10 feet, so that's pretty long. And it's three millimeters wide, it's detachable, and it's USB. You have anti-friction rings um, for smooth movement, an ergonomic design. The batteries are not included. I don't know what kind of batteries are in there, but we'll open it up and check that out. And then it says it has advanced gaming buttons, on the fly button mapping, and that's really cool. That's like on the, I don't know if you have an Xbox Pro controller, but, um, on the Xbox Pro Controller, I'll grab it to show you right now. Um, there, you have the triggers in the back that you can map yourself, and that's really helpful. Like, it's more advanced gaming techniques, but I think that's really cute that they, or cool that they um, included that. And then they have an audio port here. And yeah, it's an officially licensed for Nintendo Switch. But I'm seeing here that it says it does not support HD rumble, IR motion controls, or amiibo for use in dock mode only. So this you're only gonna be able to connect to the dock, not straight to your Switch, so you'll have to be playing dock mode on a screen or on a TV. And then you can't, it won't read your Amiibos, and it also doesn't have the HD rumble, which I think kind of, uh, I don't know, I really like the rumble a lot, especially for certain games, like when you're fishing in Animal Crossing and stuff like that, which is funny because Animal Crossing, like why wouldn't you put the rumble? I like the rumble in Animal Crossing, but we'll see. Is this a flap? Oh my god, yeah, there's a flap here and you can see the actual controller. It says fun features, great value, plug in and play like a pro with this feature-packed enhanced wired controller. Full-sized ergonomic design combined with mappable advanced gaming buttons, 3.5 millimeter headset input, and extra long 10 foot USB cable. Make this your new favorite wired controller for Nintendo Switch. And look at that color, oh my god, it's so much more beautiful than I thought. Can't wait to get this one out. And look, can you see the like, ah, Animal Crossing like, I don't know, embossing or whatever that is? That is so cool. Alright. 
Next item I want to show you is the matching case. Like it has the same cute print and the same colors. I think this is so cool. It has a cute, nice um, grippy handle, little um, grips on the zippers. Here you can kind of see what the inside's gonna look like. I love this like 3D um, Tom Nook little feature here. I like that it's kind of gripped in the back. It says protection case for Nintendo Switch or, or Nintendo Switch Lite, so it should fit both. It has a removable foam insert for Nintendo Switch Lite. And you know what? I'm just realizing that mine can kind of banged up. I'm gonna try to wipe it with the wipe, and if it doesn't wipe, I'm going to message them. But yeah, I'm really excited about opening this. I'm really excited about trying the feature where it's for the Switch and the Switch Lite. We'll try both on. And then the um, fourth item that I want to show you guys in this haul is the Joy-Con Comfort Grip. And I thought this was just so cute, like, because the Switch comes with an all-black one. Even the Animal Crossing Switch came with an all-black one, and I thought that was kind of boring. But this one is so cute, and it kind of matches everything. It has the cute little colors and the silhouettes and stuff. And, um, yeah, the back is like a grip. See how it shows here? It's like a rubberized grip in the back, which is, I'm thinking, going to be really comfortable. So, yeah, lightweight, ergonomic, double-injected rubber grips for added comfort. This is cool. Player number and pairing LED. Joy-Con controllers not included, of course. And yeah, so I'm really excited about opening these. So let's go ahead. Um, which one should we start with? All right, so I'm thinking we should start with these. The little um, Joy-Con button covers and thumb grip covers just to see how cute they are and get our um, Joy-Cons cute first. And then we'll move on to this one. So right now I'm using... Um, my here i'll pull it out of the dock you can't really see but it's in the animal crossing dock and hold on my screen um yeah so i have the animal crossing um version switch joy cons on but i have one of my other um switch backs this is not the animal crossing back but um yeah i think it matches really cute so i've been using this lately so i'm gonna go ahead and take these joy cons off So here are the Joy-Cons and I already have um, thumb grips on them, but they're different from the ones that came in the pack. The ones in the pack are white with the blue or green um, paw pads and the ones that I have are um, green and blue with the white paw pads, so it's like inverted. So I'm going to take these off so that I can try those on and so that I can put the button caps on. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. I think, yeah, it's pretty easy to open. You just slide it out. These are the little sticky tabs. All right, we finally got it open. I think I'm going to start with the grips first. So we're gonna do like it shows on the back and like I've shown in other videos, we're just gonna flip this inside out, place it over the thumbstick and then, um, yeah. Okay, so it's inside out like that. And I'm gonna put the green on the green and the blue on the blue. No, I'm gonna flip it around. Yeah, I'm gonna put the green stuff on the blue and the blue stuff on the green. So you just put it over the Joy-Con like that and then flip them back like so. So that's really easy. It's on there nice. I'm gonna go ahead and put the second one on and I'll be right back. All right, so we got the um, thumb grips on and that's how they look, super cute. I'm gonna put them down and go ahead and start putting these on. So what the instructions in the back say to do is peel this off, put it on the button, and then put the button caps on. So last time what I did is put them in the button caps and then put the button caps on the buttons. So I'm going to try this way instead. So we're going to grab it by the tab like that. Ah! I dropped it. Okay, we're going to grab it by the tab like so. And then we're going to stick it right on the button. like that make sure you press it in well and then you can peel the tab back or peel the little top layer I mean oh, that's harder to do than I thought you're supposed to peel just from the tab but it doesn't seem to be sticking on very well I feel like it stuck on better when I did the other method Yeah, it's not sticking on, so I'm going to try the method that I did in the other video. So what we're going to do is grab the tab like this, 
pull it off the paper, then grab the button cap, place it in the button cap, like so, and then press it in really, really, really well with the tweezer, and then pull from the tap, and that should stick it in pretty well. Yeah, so now it's in there. So once you have that, you can hold the little button. And um, the thing is that these do not say A, B, X, Y or have any arrows. So you're gonna have to um, just know, know your buttons well. So that's all I advise. Or you can like maybe write on it with like a marker if you have nice writing or something. So you press it over, press it in, and there, now you have a cover on your button and it clicks and it works pretty well. And I really like the green on the blue look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that same method I just showed you and put all of the button covers on. All right, so now we're done with the Joy-Cons. This is how the grips look and here are the button covers. And I think it looks really cute with the green on the blue and the blue on the green. And I honestly really like that. Maybe I might switch the thumb grips, I'm not sure. I'm really indecisive. But I think it looks really cute and I'm really happy that I got that. So you should probably get these too if you have these um, Animal Crossing um, Joy-Cons and you don't want to take them apart and switch the buttons and stuff. This is a really easy, cute alternative. So now that we have our Joy-Con grips all cute, I want to go ahead and open this guy up. The Joy-Con Comfort Grip and stick them in here and see just how cute they look. All right, so here is our comfort grip and the print on it is just so cute. I love it. Oh my God. Uh, the yellow's kind of bright. It's kind of like a highlighter yellow. I wish it would have been like more of a dulled down yellow, but that's cute. This is, I think like a light yellow cream color because well, this is more like a cream and you see it's a little even more yellow. So it's like a very, very super light yellow. And I think that's cute. I love that it's not black, like it's not black anywhere. I think that's really adorable. So I'm going to go ahead and slide these in and let's see how easy or not they are. Okay, they slid in really nice and they clicked in like a really satisfying good click, which I liked. Let's do the other one. You heard that? Like that's, that's satisfying. I like that. And look how cute it looks. Oh my god. I love it. I didn't realize I was going to like it this much, but like everything all together it's just so cute and it's just like a couple simple items like really customize and elevate like your, your stuff i think it's it looks so cute ah i'm really happy with it where's the switch let's see let's try to pair it to the switch this other controller is only for use with the dock but this one you can use right on your switch screen so i have i'm gonna pull out this switch stand I'm gonna move these things aside and I'm going to put the switch on the switch stand so that you guys can kind of see it and if you want to know more about this really cute um, little twin star switch stand then you can watch our um, affordable switch light X switch and switch light accessories video I'll link that for you guys and that's where I talk about these stands so yeah we got it on the stand there and let's see So I think it works pretty well. You can hear the click and everything. It's pretty satisfying. I don't see any lights lighting up. Oh yeah, there you go. Sorry, it's just bright in here. But you can kind of see the, the green um, indicator light there. All right, so at first this side wasn't working, but I just kind of kept pressing the buttons. And now it looks like both sides are working. So cool, I like that. It's really comfortable, like they said. Like this material is different from here. It's not like shiny plastic, it's like a rubber but it's not like a sticky rubber, it's really nice and it feels super comfortable. Yeah, and the buttons feel really good too, I was gonna say. Close, thank you. Oh, I need to put the Animal Crossing game in there. I think I only have the ReZero game in there right now. Well, yeah, you can only have one game, but I have ReZero in there right now. Okay, so cool, I really like that. Oh my God, I'm really happy with this. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next item. All right, the next item that I'm super excited to share is the protective carrying case. I'm really excited to see the um, how it works for Switch and Switch likes. I've never had a case like that, so let's go ahead and open it up. 
All right, so here's the case and the print like I said is just so cute. I love this like rubber pump, bumped up patch here. I love this grip and then this really strong webbing that makes it really like durable. It's going to last a long time. I love these because like it just makes it so easy to um, zip and unzip. The back is a beautiful color. Mine is dirty. I'm so sorry. The back is just such a beautiful color as well. So I love the white on the zipper. Like that's so cute. It pops out the white on the silhouettes here. So it's a really easy and smooth zipper. And when you open it up, uh, it looks like this inside. It's so cute. So it's more like a green color with a little um, rectangular, rectangular, what the heck? Triangular um, little designs. I love the little leaf like embroidered um, tag here. We have a little fishnet area. Ooh, this has like a really ergonomic like gripped I don't know thing on the um, zipper pull and like it just fits your thumb perfectly and it feels so cool that's interesting and you zip it open like that it's like really roomy in here too that's cool love that and here you can put things like um, your headphones um, game cartridges um, just any extra things that you want to bring with you and then here we have these cute little mesh or fishnet pockets to put your um, SD cards and games in and then this little velcro here and when you lift this tab this area here protects the screen of your switch or your switch light so this is the little foam thing that I was interested in so apparently um, your switch would fit perfectly in here but if you wanted to carry the switch light in here you would just add this foam insert and then put the switch light and I really love that and I hope more companies start doing this because then you don't have to buy the same t version or same color theme case for both your switch and your switch light you can just get one like this one i didn't have to buy a switch case and a switch light case this fits both so let's see um let's try the switch light insert so here's my switch light i know it doesn't match the theme we're working with so i tried to put like a blue cover on it but it's um rilakkuma bedtime series and this is from sticky bunny the skin so i'm gonna go ahead and test this out with a case on a protective case Hmm. So it seems like this would push in here and this goes here. Okay, so the bottom part went in pretty well. The back part, I don't know if it's supposed to press in or just fit like that. But that fits pretty good and you see if you shake it, watch. It doesn't like move around or shake around in there, which I think is really good. So yeah, because like I've tried to put switch light cases in a switch protective case like this and they just like toss around and it doesn't feel safe or nice. So I think this feels really safe and it feels really nice. That's the zippers. But yeah, you don't feel the device moving around in there and I think that's so cool. I really love that feature. So let's go ahead and take that out and then take the, fit, the um, foam out and see how the switch device fits. So of course we're going to be using this switch with the, I actually have to go ahead and remove the Joy-Cons from this guy. And I think it's really cool how this thing just stands on its own like that. That's so cool. That fit like perfectly like a dream, like it just popped in and like I don't know, that's just perfect and so beautiful. I'm honestly so happy with this case. Like, oh my God, it's so pretty. And both my Switch and my Switch Lite fit in there. Ah, I love it. Like, look how pretty this is. All right, so lastly, we have the enhanced wired controller. So let's go ahead and open this one up. All right, so straight out of the box, it has a user manual and this is pretty light so that's cool I'm guessing it's gonna be easy to use and then we have the cable here and oh my gosh this cable is so beautiful like that is such a cute color and then it has this velcro like cable organizer holder thing and that's cute too like they every detail of this is cute like what the heck so the controllers here in this plastic let's go ahead and take it out Oh my gosh, this controller is so lightweight, like it's so much lighter than I thought it was going to be. The pro, <laughs> the pro controller, Nintendo Switch Pro controller is like heavy, it's like a really heavy controller. And this is super light, which is kind of like, 
which is cool I think like for just like light gameplay or especially for children or someone with small hands or if you have like arthritis or something and you don't want to be carrying a really big controller or heavy controller because it's pretty much the same size it's a nice size but it's so much lighter that this is really nice I can see this being useful for some people so the color is really beautiful I love these um, little um, villager little graphics like I've said a bunch of times but on the controller they're actually brighter and they're really pretty color and I love that I love that there's nothing to customize like you don't with my pro controller I had to open it up switch out all the buttons switch out the joy con switch this out switch everything but with this one it just comes already in the packaging so beautiful you don't really want to do anything to it it's gorgeous and here's the back color I love the two different like greens like this is a light green and this is a minty green that's really cute don't know what that button is but i love these buttons and i said i was going to show you guys the um xbox pro controller right so here's what i'm talking about on the um xbox i kept calling it pro it's elite the xbox elite controller it has these um options that the uh regular xbox controller doesn't have and i think that's really cool that the um this little controller has the same thing and you can map them to be what you want them to be so I thought that was pretty cool and like size wise they're similar in size but of course this thing is heavy heavy all right so cute 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 points 100 out of 10 now let's try to connect it because we can only use this with the dock right luckily i have my um animal crossing dock right here ah, i can't pull it too forward because of the cords but i'm gonna switch the camera angle and try to connect it to my um screen and see maybe how that plays Alright, so I wanted to show you really quickly the uh, manual. It comes with like a picture diagram that lets you know what each button is for. And then right here are this is the setup. It's just so simple. Like it says here, make sure your Nintendo Switch system is powered on and connected to your TV. Or in this my case, I'm using a screen, a monitor. Insert the USB cable into a USB port on the Nintendo Switch dock. Connect the other end of the cable to the wired controller and your wild, wired controller is now ready to use. And it really was that simple. So all I did was grab the cord and connect it here. And then I pinched this because this was all that I needed. And then the other side that you go ahead and put right in here in the back of the dock. So yeah, that was really simple and really easy to use. So I was really happy about that. And now let's see how, like I said earlier though, it only connects to the dock. So you wouldn't be able to play it with your Switch separately or with your Switch Lite. You can only use it with the Switch. And I'm gonna switch the camera angle to show you my screen. Unfortunately, I use like a really big monitor. Instead of using two, I just use one huge um, curved Samsung screen. So I'm gonna change the um, camera angle and try to show you as best as I can some of the screen so that you guys can see. All right, so there's the screen. Here's my controller. And I feel like it works pretty well. It clicks really nice and um, satisfying. It moves around very like easily. You can't hear anything unfortunately because I don't have um, speakers connected to this screen because I usually just, this is like my home um, desk and I usually just use my headphones and I play um, Xbox on this one a lot. So I don't have speakers here but I ordered some so I'll have speakers on this screen soon. I usually have my Switch connected to my screen at the shop and I'll show you guys that setup too if you want. So that one does have speakers. So anyway, you won't be able to hear but um, the you won't be able to hear the uh, switch sounds, but you can hear the controller. Uh, uh, and I think it's really nice. All the buttons seem to work really well. I already tried them all out. I haven't mapped out any of the buttons in the back or anything yet, but I'm gonna try to do that later. Alright, so the game that's in my Switch right now is ReZero, so I'm just going to go ahead and load that game. Alright, so here's the game. The Subaru walking around, that's Amelia there, and it seems to work pretty smoothly, walking pretty easily. All the buttons seem to be very responsive and they work really well. 
yeah i think that's all for oh today's God. video Hello, thank you guys so much for all of your love and support if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up love you guys so much see you in the next one kitty and jerry